Norfolk police say they've arrested the person who tried to rob a bank yesterday afternoon. And we've covered many of these cases where people try to take money from banks. What's unique in this one is who police say committed the crime. 10 on your side's Brandy Cummings is live outside the Wells Fargo on Colonial Avenue in Norfolk with details. Brandy? Well, Stephanie and Anita, you know, we frequently cover stories about crimes that involve men, but the suspect in this case, according to police, is a 19 year old woman. Hearing that information was a surprise to the folks that we talked to that work in this area. People are just desperate right now, I guess. Holly Womack has worked at the Kapanara Ramen restaurant just a month, but has lived in Ghent 16 years. She says hearing about crime in the area is no shock. It doesn't really surprise me because, uh, uh, seems like uh, the violence in the younger culture is going on a lot more. But what was eye opening for her is who police say tried to rob a bank yesterday. Norfolk police arrested 19 year old Sierra Daniels. They say she went into the Wells Fargo on Colonial Avenue around 4 30 and demanded money. Although police admit she didn't show a weapon or even imply she had one, just two minutes after they say Daniels tried to get money from a teller, she was arrested. Um, it's a little disturbing. I just, you know, I'm just thankful that there was no weapon. Signs outside the bank showed the Norfolk Police Department has a regular presence there. A police spokeswoman says there's a substation atop the lobby created for the PD bike patrol. It's uh, really sad. Womack knows what some robbery victims may go through. Several years ago, she was one. An experience, she says, left her traumatized. I had to go to counseling for it, so it affects people, you know, being confronted with by someone you don't even know. And Womack says she's become very much aware of her surroundings after that incident several years ago. And she says that's why she noticed the several police cars and even the forensics van outside of the restaurant window yesterday afternoon. For now, I'm live in Norfolk. Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side. Sierra Daniels is scheduled to be back in court for a preliminary hearing next month.